So good. Okay, I gotta get more boards. So whenever there's a cloud, I can't cut because this runs directly off solar panels. Um, however, I've recently come into the possession of four used car batteries. And they're fairly used, but definitely not at the end of their life. They're actually boat batteries, so they're, they're marine batteries. Um, but four of those should be able, even very used ones, should be able to power this saw for one cut pretty easily. Uh, so if I hook them up to this, I should be able to, you know, do a cut, then, you know, do something else for a few minutes and then come back and do another cut, even on a cloudy day, right? Just as long as I'm, uh, you know, letting it kind of, letting the sun catch up between cuts. So, you know, I could carry a board back and then a board up and, you know, while I'm between cuts and give them a chance to recharge. Um, and that would be quite beneficial because, well, obvious reasons. So anyway, I've, I have these four, four lead acid batteries and you can go through. And I also have a charge controller to charge them. And the charge controller was broken, but I opened it and I think I fixed it. It, was, it wasn't anything super complicated. So I've got six solar panels running this lumber mill. 
So I'm thinking I can take three of the solar panels, two or three, yeah, two or three, maybe, I don't, this, the charge controller can handle three solar panels, but I always like to leave a bit of a buffer. I don't like to max those things out because they burn out, you know, when you get a really sunny day or whatever. So maybe I'll put two solar panels charging the batteries, four can go straight to the motor and then add in the battery power and then. All right, I guess I got some wiring to do. I don't know where to put the batteries. Where do I put the batteries? There's nowhere out here where they're gonna be. Like I have a roof here, but I don't wanna just have them sitting here. I gotta, I wanna put something on them. I don't want them getting rained on all the time. All right, I'm gonna go check on those batteries. A little bit ago, I connected them all in parallel so they would equalize before I you know, connect them to anything. Um, I wanna keep an eye on the sun. If the sun <laughs> comes out of those clouds, I need to run up and do some more cuts. Okay. Here's my stack of wood. It's funny, when I look at it on the camera, it looks so much smaller than it is because my brain kind of says, oh, this is like a two by whatever. But this is, <laughs> if you go to a store, you know, you get two bys and everything. And a two by is only like, like that thick. Yeah, these are all much thicker. Anyway, this is the stack I'm working on. I still have a bunch more of this stuff. Well, this isn't even half, not even close to half of what I've cut that's up. All right, I got four batteries here. Yeah, these things. And I've connected them just with a piece of wire that doesn't have any insulation on it across all the negative terminals and then another piece across all the positive terminals. So they'll, they'll equalize and I just had full sun for a while. Oh, oh, I got full sun. Okay, back to a cloud. Anyway, I had some full sun. I had discovered a couple things. One, I can easily cut through this thickness of board with one pass, just one cut, when I have full sun. Um, and let's see, what else is going on? Oh yeah, oh, my sun took them all down already. Um, whenever I cut, a certain width of board, if I've got a chunk left, I'm cutting those into one inch strips, one imperial noodle unit thick. And I'm thinking I'm gonna use those to build the banked part of the floor, which is gonna make sense eventually. But I keep thinking maybe I should make them one and a half noodle units thick. I've only done a few, I could still change it. Hmm. I don't know, I guess I'll just go with one. When I'm actually putting it together, this is for a banked part of the track around the outside. I'm gonna put it, uh, build it in strips. They have to curve. So, while I'm putting that together, <clears throat> I may curse my decision of one imperial noodle unit thick, one inch thick, but we'll see. Now I'm just twiddling my thumbs. Maybe I'll go mess around with the batteries again. And I've also been thinking about how much time I'm cutting versus doing other things. And, you know, when I've got full sun and I can totally cut, I'm still only cutting like half the time. Because I'll get a board here, I'll do two or three cuts depending on, you know, what I'm cutting it into. Maybe a couple more because now I'm doing the strips. But I'll do a few cuts. Uh, but even then, between each cut, I stop the saw, move the board out of the way, push the saw back, takes all, I don't know, about as long as it does to do the cut. So that's only half the time. And then when, I, when I'm totally finished with one board, I put the last piece there and I go down the mountain. It's just a little hill. I'm calling it a mountain. So I go down the mountain back to the house, grab another board and come up. And that, I'm probably, I'm probably cutting a third of the time. So if I'm running this thing on batteries, it'll have, uh, you know, I'll cut for one, one minute on batteries and then it'll have two minutes to recharge so that means i can work in one third light we're definitely in half light um, like right now i could do a cut and anyway yeah i think i, I think i want to get those batteries up here get this running on batteries so what i have to do for that is first 
drag the batteries up here and figure out where to put them where they're not going to get rained on. Ooh, one nice super cool thing is that I've already cut enough joists to make one section of floor, you know, out of the 12. I almost have enough for two. If I can cut that board that's up there right now, I think I have the boards to make two sections. You know what? Maybe I'll put the batteries on top of these. That'll lift them up a little bit higher. Keep splashing mud off them. Because, you know, when it rains, mud splashes a little. Yeah, the battery's going to sit on there. Oh, well that looks like a little battery roof cover if I've ever seen one. Ugh, i got to take this out. Man, I need to clean up back here anyway, so this is a good thing. Oh, okay. Oh, that's looking good. Oh, that's some good stuff right there. It's always nice when you have a really good use for leftover stuff. Oh, got my batteries connected in there. They're 12 volt batteries. So these two are connected in series. These two are connected in series. And then this chunk and this chunk are connected in parallel. These are my big parallel cables. Way bigger than they need to be, but I had them. So. And I got two cables coming up to a charge controller. It's a pretty old one, but it's working. Um, and right now I don't really have it wired in right. I just kind of jammed a wire in here and blah, blah, blah. I just wanted to get them charging because the, the voltage was a little low on the batteries. It was like 11.9 something, uh, you know, per 12 volt battery. You don't really want them to go below 12 volts, but you know, it's, it's not bad. I mean, they're, they're used, they're definitely not new. Um, but yeah, so they're charging right now. And I just checked the voltage on, uh, on the 24 volt things and it was over 25 volts. So that means it's over 12 and a half volts per battery. I've still got a couple hours of sunlight. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe tomorrow I'll come up here and finish all the blah, blah, wiring and whatever. Do the switches, speed control, and yeah. Yeah, the main part is getting the batteries up here. They're in a good spot. Oh, I still have to attach this down too. I can just, you know, it's just sitting on top of these things which are stuck into the ground pretty well. I don't know, all this needs is like, well, I don't know, I might not want to rivet it. Maybe I just want to put some, a hole and like a, a piece of wire through or something. Um, because I might want to be able to get in here at some point. Um, yeah. Other than that, man, I'm so happy with how the lumber mill was doing today. Um, I don't know if I got any video of it going full speed. But uh, the sun came out for about an hour, like like full sun, no clouds. And I was just cutting like a madman. And yeah, cuts through the boards. All, you know, in one shot, no problem. So presuming that uh, everything goes well with the batteries, I should be able to go full, full power. Not, not whenever I want, but much more often anyway. Um, I know I'm not going to cut in the middle of the night. That would be stupid. But yeah, like if a cloud comes by, it's not going to slow me down. If it's a bit of a cloudy day, I can still cut at full speed as long as I'm not continually cutting, you know, give the saw a chance to recharge between cuts, which I, I do anyway, because, you know, I cut a board, got to move it out of the way, got to get the next board in. So it takes a minute or two or whatever. Yeah, I think this is going to be really good. Man, that was a really, really fortunate circumstance. Just getting these four batteries when I did. I got them for free because someone was upgrading to other batteries and these were these were used but still had some life in them. So it should be should be plenty good for this. Oh, man, I am wiped out. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh right. I still have well it's only four left. Alright, four more boards to take down to the house. Oh, let's go. Ooh, shortcut. What'd you get? Oh, let me see. Oh, very nice, very nice. This is like a tiny little flower, right? Eh? What are you doing? Oh, you have some stuff too, eh? <laughs> oh, okay. Who's gonna help me carry some wood down? Really? You think you can pick one up? You and your sister could probably pick one up together. 
I'll get them, don't worry. Oh, watch out, dude. <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay, these are not going to be here for long because they're going to go up on the second floor. Ooh, not a bad start. Nice work. Oh, pretty good, except I did screw something up. <laughs> oh. This board here is supposed to be resting right there. <laughs> Uh, after realizing what I'd done, I was like, oh gosh, I have to cut this shorter, fit it there, but then these three boards aren't going to fit. Then I realized, nah, I'll just leave this and I'll just put another board there. That way I only, I only wasted one board. It'll be fine. But this is like, this is high. Look how far down these kids are. Hey, hey, no murdering your sister. <laughs> All right, go clean up your leg, okay? Anyway, this is where my running track's gonna be. So the outside there is gonna be banked and the rest of the floor will be flat. Out to here, not there, Durr. Yeah, there's my kitchen down there. And yeah, it's just gonna go all the way around. Right where all those second floor windows are. All the way back to here. Oh, and I hung up a rope. <laughs> And when I get the second floor up, it's going to be amazing. Well, this whole pile of wood over here, dude, don't get too high. <laughs> this whole pile of wood over here will be gone. That wood will be gone down there. But these mattresses will go up on the second floor and those mats and this whole table of stuff and a lot of stuff down here that's just in storage right now is going to come up to the second floor. And then when I get the third floor done, all those mattresses are going to go all the way up there and all those mattresses or those like gymnastics mats, but they can go to the second floor for a while and yeah, oh man, it's going to be so nice to clear out the first floor because it's been quite congested. <laughs> oh, even just getting a, a few of these floor sections in, I'll be able to take a bunch of stuff down there and put it up here.